Hi, my name is Joshua Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to both hand launch and catch your Mavic drone. Let's begin. Now initially you may find this quite challenging to launch the drone by yourself with one hand holding the drone itself and one hand on your controller. However, after some practice, you'll be able to do this every time. Of course, it's still going to be easier if you have a friend with you, you can just have them hold the controller. But here's one of the ways that I like to do it, and I actually use this most of the time, is I will press the controller against my body, and then I can use my thumb and index finger to press the takeoff command. And this works quite well for me because I have larger hands, however, you may find it a lot easier to use the slide to takeoff command, which is just on the phone. So to use the slide to takeoff command, you just have to look for the icon in the top right of the screen with the arrow pointing up, click on that, slide it across and the drone will take off after a few seconds. You just have to be confident when you do this, don't get freaked out by the drone when it starts to take off and make sure your arm is not in a position where the back blades might catch you and give you a bit of a nasty nip. Now confidence is going to be very important doing this maneuver, so I think you should practice this in a very safe, not windy area until you're a master of it, before taking it down to the field where you really need to do it, where if you're on a boat or something. The last thing you want to do is try and show off taking off drone with your hand and then having it fall down to the ground or into the ocean or something terrible like that. So once you've learned how to take off with your drone, you're going to want to have to catch it as well. Now the main problem people encounter when they actually try and catch it with their hand is that the drone will start to fly up. And some people just fight against the drone and just grab onto it really tightly so it can't do that until the motors go into lockdown. So what you should do is turn off the downward sensors. Another thing you can encounter is if you try and catch the drone, it takes off and then it immediately starts to land again. You have to be wary of that. That happens because at first the drone is detecting something beneath it using its downward sensors, which are of course on the bottom it has two sonic sensors and I believe two cameras. But then when you're still holding the stick down, it decides it wants to land as well. So this can trick you and sometimes it can take off and go for a little ride for itself. So to ensure this does not happen, we want to disable the downward sensors to do that. You can either click on the three dot menu or actually on the sensor itself, which was the dot with the three lines. You're going to have to go into the advanced settings and then click disable downward sensors. Now, one thing you should be careful about when you do this is that the downward sensors are used for stabilization. So when you turn them off, you will notice that the drone will drift. Be sure to only do this when you're ready to catch. And also another good piece of information is that you should turn them back on after you've landed, because if you start to take off, then you'll find that it'll go to the height it usually takes off to, but then it'll start drifting. And a lot of takeoff places can be a little bit crowded. Perhaps you have a lot of items in the nearby area or a fence or something. So you can actually drift straight into a fence and crash immediately if you forget to re-enable your downward sensors. So one additional tip that I have is that you'll notice in all my videos that I always catch the drone from behind. And there's two reasons that I do this. The first is that if I have my obstacle avoidance turned on, the drone will not fly close enough to me forwards to catch it as it'll detect me as an obstacle. So to do this, I turn it around and fly backwards as of course there is no sensors on the back or the sides of the map. And the second and more important reason for doing this actually is that I do not want to grab the camera by accident. Of course, the camera is the most sensitive part of the Mavic assembly, and the drone is quite hardy actually. I've crashed it a couple times if you can believe it, but the only thing that I'm ever worried about damaging is the gimbal. So to do that, I'll just turn it around and catch it. It actually looks pretty cool. Sometimes my friends are impressed and they think I'm a very good pilot, although they haven't seen me crash, so they don't know any better. And it's that simple. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to give me a like. To see any further updates for the Mavic tutorials, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. And until next time, Alice Kla, I'll feed us in.